the biggest fucking robbery in Premier League history. No, not even in Premier League history. The biggest robbery in football history. I am sick of this crap. And people will care because ha ha ha, it happened to Liverpool. Somebody needs to stop this bullshit. So let me let me let me let me explain something to you. Because it's easy to laugh at it because it happened to Liverpool. But if these decisions were the other way around, I guarantee you you'd be singing a different tune. You'd be saying Liverpool will strike again. What if it was your club? What if it was Man United, Man City, Chelsea, Arsenal? Name a team in the Premier League. This could happen to you. Chris Jones shouldn't have been sent off. No one can convince me that was a red card. Then, so it starts off, you think it's 11 v 11, it isn't. It's 15 v 11, because Spurs have four extra players on the pitch, which apparently wasn't enough. They needed another extra man. They still almost balls that up. Up, up. Cody Gappa, oh, literally had to injure himself to score the equalizer, or in the, although we should have already been on one goal because there was absolutely nothing wrong with the uh, Luis Diaz's goal. Oh, if that goal was for your club, you would be livid if it was given. And how many lines were drawn? Zero, zilch, nada. They didn't draw lines because they knew he was onside. They knew. Ooh. So then, 15 v 10 wasn't a big enough advantage because Spurs were spursing it up. They have to make it 15 v 9. Now, the second yellow card, I won't argue, but the first yellow card shouldn't have been given. I didn't catch it at first. I didn't. I will admit, I didn't. I thought Diogo Jada caught. Um, in in die is it? Is I'm not sure how to say the the Spurs left back's name. I might just call him by his first name. His first name is Destiny. So I thought I thought he, I thought he caught him. I was like, yeah, yellow card. But upon further inspection. And it was even called out by he Rob Horthon uh, Horth on and um, Gary Neville on commentary. There wasn't no fucking contact. The only person who should have gotten the yellow card was the Spurs left back, who, by the way, if I if I remember if I remember correctly, I think he was already on a yellow card, so he should have been the one sent off. Again. No argument about the second yellow card. That was absolutely a yellow card. No argument about that. But Jota shouldn't have been on a yellow card because the first yellow card wasn't a yellow card. Again, the only person who should have maybe gotten a yellow card was the guy in white. But no, it was the guy in red. Because the badge happened to be Liverpool. This is corruption. This is match fixing. In the week, Barcelona are in court for the exact same offense. I really hope John W. Henry lawyers up. I guarantee you he doesn't know what the fuck happened. He probably doesn't even know we played today. But if I were Jurgen Klopp, I would be getting in touch with John W. Henry and saying, hey... Hire the best... No, I'm not even going to censor myself. Hire the best fucking lawyers you can get. Hit up Matt C and say who they hired. Or to get them... Unbanned from the Champions League. And hire them. 
Because we're taking the Premier League, we should be taking the Premier League to court and, and taking them for every fucking cent they're worth. Simon Hooper should never be allowed to referee he 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 underage football ever again, let alone in the Premier League. Fifteen v nine, and Spurs still almost didn't win. They had to get very lucky with a Joel Matip own goal. No, and I I don't hold anything against Joel Matip. It was just bad luck. Like, it was fifteen v nine. They still almost. They still almost Spurs it. They still almost Spurs it. I am livid and any rational Premier League, 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 any rational football fan should be also livid. This is a disgrace to football, this is a disgrace to England as a country for allowing these idiots to still referee your game. If I lived in England, I would be writing to my MP to get in contact with the head of the Premier League, the head of the FA, and anyone else they can get their hands on immediately. Monday morning, I'd be posting that fucking letter. I might still. Oh, and I don't even have a local MP because I don't live in England. And I don't know what a local oh, Irish politician is going to do. Maybe yeah, they can do something. But somebody needs to do something. If I were Liverpool, I'd be I'd be taking the Premier League to court. Because this is a disgrace. And other clubs of fans, you can laugh. Go ahead, laugh. But don't come expecting sympathy from us when it's your club. Because someday it will be. And when you're wondering how could a referee make such bad decisions or how could this far decision not work? How could and this isn't even the first time they didn't draw lines. I think Arsenal had a similar situation happen in one of their games. If I'm not mistaken, they had a VAR decision where the lines weren't drawn. Maybe they got confused. Maybe they they saw it red. They were probably thinking, uh, is that Liverpool? Well, that's not Manchester United. Eh, close enough. Let's just not draw the lines and say we did. Simon Hooper. Fuck you. If there was any justice in the world, that man would never referee a football game professional, amateur, underage, you name it. He wouldn't even mm, referee Sunday League. And the rest of them aren't much better. And you'll have idiots like he Howard Webb and Mike Dean or or uh, whatever the fucking idiot on Sky Sports News who who does ref watch they'll come out and they'll defend this because they're their mates and they don't want them to get stick they want us to respect the referees respect is earned, motherfuckers. Not freely given. If you didn't earn it, you don't deserve it. And no Premier League referee deserves respect because they are all awful. Every last one of them should be sacked and barred from football for life. This is disgraceful. 
This is corruption. This is match fixing. It's Simon Hooper this week. And there was probably other bad decisions in other games I just wasn't watching. But this is the biggest robbery in football history. Bar none. To quote D.A. Drogba after that Champions League match against Barcelona for Chelsea. It's a disgrace. It's a fucking disgrace. And it will... Nothing will be done about it. I know nothing will be done about it. The heads should roll. And they should start with that bald prick, Simon Hooper. The cheating scumbag should never be allowed to referee he ever again. Period. I really hope FSG take the Premier League to court for their apparent abuse of football teams. They treat like common whores because they fucked Liverpool in front of the watching world and they didn't even buy us dinner. Bastards. Fuck Simon Hooper. Fuck the Premier League. He fuck them all. They are all cheats. They are all scumbags. And they don't der- deserve our respect. And they shouldn't fucking get it. Earn it if you want it. But you can't earn it because you're all corrupt bastards. I don't... I am beyond... Once again, the biggest robbery in football history. That's not hyperbole, it's a fact. For anyone with two eyes, he's he's who isn't blinded by either her her bias. That's the nicest way I can put it. Disgrace, Simon Hooper. Fuck off. Go. Oh, do. Oh, anything else. Oh, but get the fuck. Out of football, you cheating scumbag.